Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Julie and if you like makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, makeup hauls, first impressions and all things beauty, then you've come to the right channel. In today's video, it's going to be very, very quick. I'm going to be telling you guys about five palettes that I purchased that I regret and that I returned because I just didn't, I didn't like them. Once I used them and I looked at them and I thought about it. It wasn't a palette for me. So if you guys are interested in seeing this kind of a video, then please stay tuned. I am going to go very quickly. It's going to be a very, very short video. So I've been doing a lot of shopping. I'm going to say the last four months, like a lot of shopping, even before like Black Friday and before the Sephora VIB sale. I did a lot of shopping. I bought a lot of palettes. The first one that I purchased was the, I'm going to say the Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude Palette. Now, I bought that palette. I went to the store and looked at it a few times. And I was like, I don't know. Like, I looked at it and I left the store and then I went back to the store another day. And one of the ladies was like, that palette is not for you. So, I don't know if it was ego or what it was, but I eventually bought the palette. And I bought it home and I did a review of the palette. And I somehow psyched myself out to believe that that palette was a nude palette for somebody of my complexion. So I did the look and it came out nice enough. It wasn't enough depth in the colors of the palette to give me the definition that I look for when I'm doing an eye look on myself. I'm gonna place a picture of the eyeshadow palette, excuse this broke nail, on the screen. And I'm just gonna show you that it just wasn't a palette for me. Although the colors were very pretty, they were definitely geared towards somebody of a lighter skin tone. I don't care how much I built it up, how much I tried to get definition. It was a palette that I would have to use in conjunction with something else in order to get the look that I was looking for. And I started thinking to myself, this palette was $69. And I was like, why should I give this company my $69? When they didn't think enough of me to have a shade or two or three in this palette that I could use. So I took it back and I actually have the Glam Palette by Natasha Denona. Yeah, I actually have the Glam Palette by Natasha Denona. That's what the package looks like. I think this one is $69 as well. And I ran out to the store. I was like, I gotta get this Glam Palette. I didn't realize that I had it already. So this is what the Glam Palette looks like. The Glam Palette is definitely a lot more suitable for someone with my skin tone. So let me just show you the depth of the colors in this palette. And this is in no way me saying that I don't like the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes because I love a lot of her palettes. It's just that that I Need a Nude was not a nude for somebody with my complexion. So I have this Natasha Denona Glam Palette, which I did not realize that I had. And this is what I'm going to use to get my beautiful ethereal eye looks. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to force a palette on myself. Like why should I force a palette on myself when these companies can make palettes that are more inclusive? So I took that Natasha Denona. I need a glam palette back. Just look at how pretty these colors are and how much they show up on my complexion. Yeah, so anyway, like I said, I love a lot of Natasha Denona's products. It's just that that one wasn't for me. So the next palette that I took back was the Hourglass Snake Palette. Now I have quite a bit of Hourglass products, right? I have powders. I have a lot of their powders actually and I couldn't find all of them today but I did pull some just to show you guys that they do have palettes that you can use as a darker skin tone person. A lot of times when these palettes come out they're so pretty like you want to be like I want that palette like I want to be able to use that palette and you try 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 with no cigar but you are paying the same price as somebody that can use it, 
or people that are getting it for free. So again, I start to think and I'm like, I spent $69 on this palette and um, I can't use it. It's nice, but it's not a color. Like they're like, oh, this is a bronzer and the bronzer is super, super light. It would not bronze my skin. Now I might be able to highlight with it. It had beautiful blushes in it, right? The blushes were very nice because the texture of their products is top notch. Like I don't have any complaint about the formulas of Hourglass. I just wish that they would become more inclusive when it comes to the colors and the depth of the colors and realize that it's not only people that are lighter skin tones that wear makeup. We chocolate goddesses, because that's what we are, we like makeup too. We like full faces of makeup. And when we buy a bronzer, we want it to bronze our beautiful sun-kissed complexions. So I'm just gonna show you a few of the products that I have from Hourglass. Like I'm not saying that I don't like Hourglass products, but I know I purchased their um, powder. They came out with a translucent powder. They came out with a light color first and then it came out with two colors that were nice colors, but they weren't geared towards my complexion. Now, could I use it? Could I get away with it when I added other makeup on top of it? Yes, I could, but why do I have to do that? Like, why can't I get something that blends into my complexion that is made for me? So I took that snake palette back because I felt like I had so many things in my makeup arsenal that was very similar, that looked the same color wise. And I just was like, mm -mm, not for $90. Okay, so really quickly, I'm just gonna show you some of the powders and stuff that I have. Now I know I have about six of these and I can't tell you for the life of me where the rest of these are right now. I think I even have two that I never even opened. But this one is the Radiant Bronze Light. Now I like these powders because <laughs> they will highlight my skin very nicely, right? Because that's like a highlighter. It's ashy. But if I had to use it because I purchased it, I could highlight with it. So then I have this one right here. This is the Ambient Lighting, ambient lighting Bronzer, Radiant Light Bronze. And I want to say this color was in my snake palette. Nope, not this one. Okay, so this one, again, that's the color. Oh. You know why? <laughs> I'm telling you, I have, <clears throat> these are the same color. <laughs> I have a few of these. I don't know where they are right now, but anyway, that's the same color. That's why it looks like that. Cause I started buying a lot of the darker ones as they would come out, but they still are dark, but no cigar. So then I started purchasing these ambient, um, I want to say this was the first ambient palettes, right? This was the ambient lighting palette. This was the original, right? So I just wanna show you real fast these colors because this is Dim Light, which is in a lot of their palettes. This was the first palette that came out. This is, I wanna say that was my favorite color because I, I like to wear a ashy kind of powder sometimes like as a highlighter. So this is what the first palette looked like, right? And then they came out with volume Oh my God, I have volume two and I, I don't know where I put them at. But anyway, this is volume three. This was the deepest one that they came out with. I'm gonna say like two years ago, they came out with this. I just wanna show you what it looks like. So, let me see. I just wanna show you. A pretty bronze, this middle color, which was another pretty brownish color. One is called Eternal Light, which was the first, which was the first one. Iridescent Light was the middle one and then Prismatic Strobe Light is this one. So again, these are the three colors in the darkest ambient palette that they came out with, right? I was like, oh, okay. Like they starting to realize that we exist because at one time you couldn't even find a hourglass foundation. <laughs> that matched my skin tone. Like it was orangey, it was all kind of colors, but it wasn't only hourglass. But I just wanna show you like what made me return the palette. So I have this hourglass lighting edit mini. I wanna say this is the palette before they started making the ones that have the interchangeable face. Cause you know, I wanna like get my luxury makeup on. Like I like luxury makeup, but this is the colors. 
Did I show you the colors in this one? I hope I did. I, I was looking at them, but I hope I showed you the colors. So that's the number three. And I have number two around here. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know where it is. That's number one. And I don't know. I don't know where number two is, but I do have it. Okay, so these are the four colors in here. So again, I'm going to show you number... I just really want to show you because this was about five palettes not hourglass but I just want to show you like what we get from hourglass so that's this color then we have this color which is another ashy color then we have this kind of blushy pink right another ashy color and then we have this highlighter Again, like I said, I wanted to be a part of the Hourglass community. Like, I was like, I could buy Hourglass. Yeah, you can buy them. You just can't use it. <laughs> you just can't use it without people saying, um, what is, what is that you have on your face? So anyway, last year's palette was the best palette to me. The Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Tiger Palette. This is the one that I like. This is the one I found the most use out of. I'm just showing you guys why I returned the Snake Palette because not only did the price go up, but you didn't even think about the people that would be wearing them. So this palette right here to me is the most inclusive that I've seen from Hourglass over the years. And I'm just showing you that I've been purchasing Hourglass for quite a bit of years. And um, yeah, so that Snake Palette, I took that back. The next palette that I took back was the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 eyeshadow palette. It was all nudes, right? All nudes, all mattes. Really beautiful palette when you look at it. The formula was nice. I have shadows that are a little bit smoother than that, but it wasn't only the uh, shadows that made me take it back. First of all, the palette was $70, right? Listen, it's not about the price because I'll pay whatever I have to pay for makeup that works for me. If I'm buying makeup and I'm, you know, displaying it to you guys in the videos, like I want it to be makeup that we can use. Like I don't want to buy a palette and be like, oh, I pray that I could use this. There's so many companies that are inclusive that I prefer to spend my money with those companies. Now, I love Patrick Ta. I love his products. I have his bronzer. I have a lot of his blushes. I have, yeah, that's about it. His bronzer and I have some of his blushes. I think I have like one lip, one lip gloss. I did have his foundation. It was a nice foundation, but it was just too natural looking for the price and I was like I, I have stuff that looks like this that is half the price so that's another story but again when these companies come out with products like last year hold on okay so the first year he came out with his blush palette I missed it and I was like oh I want those blushes and at first I was like oh no I'm not gonna get them so I, I wanted to get them they never re-released them and I wish that they would release that palette again because that one had a lot of really nice colors in it but I think that I have some of the colors that were in his blush palette but I have individuals I rushed out to get this palette last year this was the Patrick top for face and this is blush palette volume 2 so anyway these were the colors Colors. and this was a pink a peach and like a gold and these are blushes creams and powders and I reviewed this palette on my channel of course I wanted it to be like something that I could use and it was but it wasn't the colors were ashy yeah the co these, these were the three powder blushes <laughs> I kept it because I think I used some of my like Sephora money to buy it so I didn't want to lose out on my money so I just kept it and I was like I'll give it to one of my sisters something like that it's a very beautiful looking palette but again his colors to me were not deep enough for somebody of my complexion so when I looked at the eyeshadow palette and I said I have a Juvia's place palette that I paid I don't know 30 bucks for that I can get the looks that I want to get you know they have a lot of mattes in this palette a lot of brighter colors you know like the whites and the creams and then i have a luna beauty nude prism palette and i want to say this palette has yeah so this is a nude palette right very very similar to what patrick ta put out this year and i just was like 
I have these palettes with these colors that actually show up on me the way I need them to show up. And both of those palettes together, I still didn't pay what I paid for the Patrick Ta palette. So although his packaging is gorgeous, I think about the packaging because I love great packaging, but I, I love a product that I could see, a product that I could wear, a product that I could be like, okay, these colors, when they made them, they were thinking about women of my complexion or deeper or a little bit lighter or a lot lighter and we were all included. So when somebody makes a palette call, I need a nude. Okay, we, we need a nude too. So how come it wasn't, I need a nude volume one and volume two? because their nudes are different than our nudes. But anyway, so that was the reason why I took Patrick Ta palette back because I had those and I just was like, mm, no, yeah. So anyway, his holiday palette, right? Because that's the fourth palette that I returned. I used that I think in, I don't know, one or two of my videos, maybe one video. And when I first opened the palette, I was like, okay, it's very pretty. The colors were pretty. I have one or two of his pink blushes. And I was like, this formula is like a little bit different. For those of you that are not familiar with Patrick Ty, which by now everybody knows who Patrick Ty is, I just wanna show you how they come because the packaging is gorgeous and the blushes are beautiful. So this is how they come, right? He had two blushes and like four little quads. Again, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen. The colors were very similar. It was like he did a light pink and a dark pink. And I just felt like because of the way the palette is situated, all of the little sparkles that were in the quad, cause they were all like shimmer toppers, they got into the blush. They were in the blush. So when I used it on my face, it was just very textured. Like textured like my skin looks right now. And the skin, doesn't look it looks bad to me like I, i've seen my skin look smoother so I, I was like i don't like it because not so much as the formula but i couldn't use both of the colors because both colors did not complement my complexion right and so i was like oh, okay this is nice like it's very very pretty i would buy it again if it was on sale but for the price that i paid for it and me only to be able to use the toppers and then one of the one of the blushes that really really shows up on my complexion. So again, if I build it, I can make it happen, but I shouldn't have to do that. So I just I took it back, and um, yeah, so I took that back. And then this last palette, you guys are probably going to be surprised, but I took it back. The Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette. Those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know I love 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 Danessa Myricks. I love a lot of her products that I've tried. I have a full collection of Danessa Myricks. I had, I watch her Teach Me Tuesdays. And I know I told this story in the video that I did reviewing the Groundwork palette. I was like, oh, okay, I can't wait to use it. Like the way she was talking about it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like my eyeliner, my everything. I'm not gonna have to worry about looking for another pencil to do my waterline. So when I got the palette, I was excited. I was like, oh my God, this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I tried it out of, I wanna say she has 16 colors, 16 shades in the palette, right? The palette is, a beautiful, beautiful color story. I think that it's very nice for a person that is a makeup artist. But if you are a person that is not a makeup artist and you are somebody that has the same complexion that I have, the color theory doesn't make sense to everybody. I tried to use that palette and I was only able to use like the last four, the last three shades and maybe one that was a little burnt orange. I think it was called Harvest or something like that. And this whole palette, I tried every color cause I wanted to see like, maybe I'm missing something and it just, it just didn't work for me. So those are the five palettes that I returned. I hope I didn't make anybody mad with me. If you don't agree with me or you do agree with me, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section. Those were my feelings about spending my hard-earned coins on products that are not really geared towards me. So I made a vow to myself this year that when these new palettes come out, if it looks like a color that's not for me, if I go into the store and I swatch a palette that is not for me, I'm gonna leave it in the store, right? Because at the end of the day, I 
shouldn't have to settle and spend my hard earned money. So that's all I'm saying. I love a lot of these brands. I love quite a bit of products from a lot of these brands, but I just feel like I need to be happy with my purchase and feel like I got my money's worth. So hopefully I didn't ruffle too many feathers. You guys like this video and you will give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and join the family. I love all of my subscribers and that's it guys. Those are the reasons why I got rid of those palettes.